In my last video where we showed how to use the ATEM Mini with vMix, a couple of people have sent me some messages saying, have I tried to hook up the ATEM Mini with Wirecast? Because some people have said that it hasn't worked. So in this video, we're gonna see if we can get it to work. And if we can't, we're gonna at least find out what's the problem with it. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So um, when it comes to Wirecast, I remember using Wirecast at the very, 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 very beginning of YouTube when they allowed you to live stream where Wirecast was free. Wirecast now costs some money for you to use that is around $250. So I didn't go out and pay for that. I just went ahead and downloaded it and it gives you a 30 day trial. So we're gonna go through and do this whole thing. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, here we go, Wirecast. So like I said, I'm gonna start a free 30 day trial and let me put all my fun information in here. All right, there we go. So let's continue. And again, the main thing is people were saying that they could not, Wirecast for some odd reason does not detect the ATEM. So that's mainly what we're gonna be doing, the ATEM Mini. All right, so we're gonna create an empty document. And we put it on the wrong screen. All right, so I faintly remember this. It doesn't look like they really changed anything to change the color scheme, but let's see. All right, so wait a minute, let me go back to layer number one, do the plus, and let's see, not a screen capture, video capture. Yeah, it is not detecting the ATEM at all. Okay, because here's the webcam that's picking up. I wonder why that is. Let's go over here and Let's go to our device manager and just make sure everything is showing up. All right, so there's the ATEM Mini and the television studio. So I'm not really 100% sure. I don't know why it's so jittery. Hmm. Huh. All right, so let's go ahead and close this. Let me check. Sorry, this is getting on my nerves. I need to find out, whatever. So we're gonna come back, yeah, there it goes. All right, so we're gonna come back into this and we're gonna see if we can get this showing up. Now I did plug this in while this was on. So let me reboot the whole ATEM and then we're gonna close this out. Let's save this. And we're just gonna come back to this. So let me shut off the ATEM for a second and then we will start it right back up. All right, we are back. So let's go back over the computer here. And we are going to bring up Wirecast again. All right, continue our trial. We're gonna open up the existing. All right, so it's still showing the web, um, the webcam. Wow, it's really not showing it. Let's see if it shows up anywhere. Wow, that's, that really stinks. It just does not show it at all.
Yeah, so it doesn't show anything. I would have thought it would show up the exact same way, but it doesn't. System devices. Now I know I pulled down the most recent version because I've never used this. So it should be, it shouldn't be an update with this. Not as current. So I don't know. All right, it says on the forum that it works with Wirecast, but it's not showing up. All right, so let me do a little bit more research into this and let's see if we can figure this out. All right, so I think I may have figured this out. I had the Logitech C920 plugged in and that was obviously working. Um, just playing around with stuff. I un unplugged my webcam and then have only the ATEM showing up. And now as you can see, it is an option. So I don't know what in the world is going on with this and y'all can't see my screen when I do this. So we are going on into infinity here. But yeah, I don't know what's up with this, but obviously it is working. Um, just see for those who are having any problem with it, just make sure for me, I just couldn't have any other form of webcam plugged in, um, which is kind of strange, but hey, it works. Um, everything is showing up the way it needs to, the bit rate, uh, I mean, excuse me, the frame rate, the resolution and all this other stuff, it's all working. So um, what I'm gonna do is, let me see, like I said, I have not used this in a minute. It is working. Um, it just seems like the um, Wirecast is pretty finicky with having multiple webcams in there. So as long as I unplugged it and this is the only thing that's showing up as a webcam, it shows up perfectly fine. So for the people who are asking that question, go ahead and try that. See, do you have any other type of devices that are plugged in that are showing up as webcams? Unplug them then just plug in the A10 Mini and just see if that shows up. Now again, I can't say that that's the actual fix. I just know that that's what worked for me because y'all saw it wasn't showing up. Like I said, if you have any more questions on things you want me to try out with the A10 Mini, please leave them in the comments. I read all the comments and I reply to them all. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, we'll see you on the next video, later.